right guys today we got a little video for you we got a video i'm going to show you how to use the universal access tool from corning this is the main tool i use on any ribbon fiber optic cables anytime we have a mid span access that we need to get into so i went ahead and set up this 432 cable right here and uh, i'm going to demonstrate and show you guys how to use this tool without damaging any of the fibers on the inside of the cable but uh, before we get into that, I just want to do a thank you to all you guys who have subscribed and liked and commented over the past year. We just uh, hit our first thousand subscribers, so truly appreciate all of you guys commenting, watching, and subscribing. And uh, yeah, stay tuned. We're going to get into this. Thanks for watching. Obviously, it comes with an, a manual here, operation manual, to teach you how to put it all together, how to use it, whatnot. Uh, you have your uh, your gauge here. You can find out what type of cable you're working with. Get your numbers. Go ahead and figure out what you want to do. I have mine pre-set up, but uh, for the most part, I keep it either on J or I. Lowest blade setting. Work work your way into it. Test it out. But to set up the tool, just grab it like that. Get your handle in there. You want to get it on a flat surface. This just simply uh, threads into the actual unit. Comes with a nice little, nice little wrench like that. Oh, nice and secure. And boom. Now to open it, you can just go ahead and twist the top here, and that'll open it up. Now, as you can see on the inside of mine, it's fairly dirty. I've done a lot of gel-filled cables, so I try to keep it as clean as possible, but working lots, and uh, yeah, she'll, she'll get dirty quick. So that's how you open it up. You're going to want to open it up all the way. Check your settings. I have mine set to J on the top and J on the bottom. There we go. They get a better angle there. Same with this side. So... After you do that as well, you have a plus and minus on here. And to change it, you just literally click it. Okay, you can click it to wherever you want to set it. Using smaller cables, whatever you need. Then you're going to want to set your blade all the way to the minus. So on the top of this, you can see there's a plus and a minus. Turn it up, turn it down. And when you do that, we actually look on the inside here. I'll open this up a bit more. Right here on the inside, there's an actual blade in the center. Get right in there. So when you turn that up and down, it raises the blade. Okay? All right. So anyways, how it functions is there's a little blade on the inside of there. Same at the top. A little blade on the inside of there. You can make it more depth. And then as you spin it, it rolls the cable through. Slicing it on either side, making it easier for you to access in there. So you're going to go ahead and get this lined up with one of your tubes. Make sure you're on your proper settings, lowest blade setting. Minus all the way down, J, J, okay. Line it up in there. Crank her down. Let me crank it down like this for you guys so you can see better. So, you want to get it nice and snug. Once you have it snug, you can start. All right? As you start, you want to make sure, check, is it slicing it enough? See that? It's just slicing it. It hasn't actually penetrated all the way. But I'll show you a trick. So, that's perfect enough. Now, we're not going to damage anything. So, all you would do is just continue on and go around the whole cable. I'll get a better angle so you guys can see. Sometimes it'll get a little stuck. You can literally push it forward a little bit to get it going again. It's pretty greasy of a tool, so sometimes you might even have to do that. But for the most part, you keep your tools super clean. This is a dry cable, so it's, it's actually working out a bit better. 
and go on so on and so forth. After you get around the whole cable to your ring cuts, you can go ahead, pop this off. And where to stop on your ring cut, you're going to want to just line it up in the middle, right? As your blades are, so. So once you have it like so, gel filled or not, you can just press on it. You can hear it cracking, right? Okay. And once you hear that cracking, you can go ahead and get a nail in there. There's your cape, there's your fiber. Okay. See our top setting wasn't set deep enough, so it didn't slice all the way through, but that's okay. Because there's another little trick. If it doesn't slice all the way through, you can go ahead and get your knife out one sec here. <clears throat> so yes. If it doesn't slice all the way through and only scores, you can actually come down and lay it against the table. You get that started, like so. Maybe a little bit more. Start it, you can go the whole way, opening up your cable like that. Uh, let's see, just start it. Boom. And there you have access to your actual cable. You can trim off the excess for wherever your ring cut is. All right, this is just a demonstration cable. I'll show you guys how to use the tool right quick. Uh, I will be having a video coming up soon. I have a job going to do a store slack room anyways. So I will be showing this actually out in the field. But uh, yeah, there you have it. All your ribbons inside that tube. And you just repeat the process for every single tube over and over until you pop them all. And uh, yeah, so that's, uh, that's how you use. Uh -huh. uh, yeah, that's the... Uh, the basics of using the Corning Universal Ribbon Access Tool. If you guys uh, like this content or want to see more about it, have any questions, throw them down in the comment section. Uh, be glad to answer them. And uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you guys in the next one.